Pick one aspect of Jesus' public ministry. What did you find the most intriguing about the way Jesus approached this part of his ministry? What do you find most significant about this aspect of his ministry? What does this aspect of his ministry impact you today? Jesus' public ministry consisted of a variety of symbolic acts, parables, and prophetic discourses. Since the first century, many philosophers and free thinkers have sought to interpret Jesus' life through abstract Gnostic formularies. These strange concoctions portrayed a ghostly disembodied being which revealed to humanity an exclusive knowledge concerning spiritual mysteries. As we will see, Jesus' earthly life and ministry actually materialized the fulfillment of a long-existing Jewish narrative, which stood in stark contrast with the competing Greco-Roman narratives of his time. This all-encompassing narrative unfolded in the Garden of Eden, progressed into, into ancient Israel's drama, and ultimately climaxed in first century Palestine under the Roman Empire. If the Gospels truly illustrate the purpose and denouement of this narrative, what is it the evangelists are trying to tell us in their fourfold gospel about Jesus' life? <clears throat> the most recognized portion of the Gospels has historically been the Passion Week pericope. Strangely enough, the seven days of Passion Week only comprise a quarter of Jesus' three-and-a-half-year ministry. What might Jesus have done other than die a substitutionary death and display a vindicating resurrection? Matthew's Gospel tells us clearly, He went throughout all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and proclaiming the kingdom and healing every disease and every affliction among the people. Jesus' healing ministry first and foremost demonstrated the kingdom of God in the midst of a fractured world. His miracles, signs, and wonders characterized the entirety of his life as a progressive act of salvific healing. What might have set Jesus' kingdom work apart in a world familiar with healing rites and pagan physicians? Healing was a significant aspect in Jesus' ministry, not simply as clinical sessions for the sake of physical stability, although they did represent such, it was the inception of Yahweh's cosmic redemptive act in the present age. Jesus' healing ministry did not consist of abstract ideas that led either to retreatism or hedonism, but they offered something much deeper. They concretely demonstrated the holistic salvation of the kingdom of God. When the kingdom of God presently manifested itself in the mighty acts of healing, Jesus was essentially showing both Israel and the world their longings of liberation and hope were finally coming to fruition. Wholeness was now available to the spiritually and physically broken. Jesus' healing acts represented wholeness. Therefore, the church should follow suit in this ministry of healing. Since the ascension, the spirit-empowered church has been called to recapitulate Jesus' life as ambassadors of the reigning king. I hope to mirror the life of Christ in my own ministry as one who presents the message of the kingdom, not only in eloquence of word, but in the demonstration of its power as well. When I feed the hungry, clothe the naked, lay hands on the sick, share the gospel message, and house orphans, these all demonstrate the holistic healing the kingdom of God offers.